Previously on Dragon Age Inquisition. Those who drank from the Vir of Alassan paid a great price. Bound to the service of Mithal for eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You don't seem concerned about that. I am terrified, yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, successful against all odds, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. You will be the next Divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. I will stand with you in the end, Inquisitor, if you will have me.
Was the summoning successful, Inquisitor? If I could answer that, I would. But you found what you needed. I did. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Rose? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. He did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late. Is your maker now call him call down his wrath upon me you cannot for he does not exist I am Corypheus I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger you are. A thief in the wrong place at the wrong time. An interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of godhood. I came here to stop you, Corypheus. Nothing more. How clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. I shall sear you from the very heavens. I will not stand for this outrage. You dare to touch an avatar of divinity? Look at you, wearing slave markings on your face with pride. You are nothing. A race I will of sniveling stand cowards out to shrank before defeat our power. If you desire death, you shall have it.
Let the skies boil! Let the world be red to sunder! Heathen barbarian shall burn. The breach is getting bigger. He's really doing it. We have to stop him. of the Golden City, Crop the Ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. I understand why you wanted to save such an important artifact. It is not your fault. Inquisitor, are you alive? We won, and the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
the moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's not such a mystery. We weren't on the best of terms. True. But I still find it peculiar. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed, don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth, to make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain here with you. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor. A symbol of hope and change to so many. And you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven, it seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. Pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. Our soldiers put their trust in you, Cullen. I appreciate everything you've done. It's been an honor, truly. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. Right now I'm thinking, this shit is weird, the Inquisitor Lavellan story. It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. 
I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. I can't leave until you can bluff at least a little. I couldn't have come with you. He would have bound me, broken me, made me a monster. But he's dead now. So I'm safe. I'm glad to hear it. What happens next? Where do we go? For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Ugh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Uh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. It was so mad. It was late. The invitations to our guests barely went out at all. And... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Tedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucienne's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. You wanted to stay and help, remember? I do remember. I didn't think it would mean people touching me. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tavinta could be. The southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? I know you'd rather I left. I will eventually. For now, I'm rather enjoying the sun. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cursed. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. The Ben Hathrath are still worried about the Inquisition's power. Happy Corypheus is dead, though. I expect they'll call me back for a more detailed report. Not many experts on demons and old magisters under the cube. I hope the Ben Hathrath appreciate the good work you've done here. It's not about appreciation under the cube. It's about doing the job. Belonging. And we've got some time. Corypheus was a busy guy. I figure we've still got some cleanup work to do. But not tonight. Tonight, we get shit-faced one last time. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. Oh? Lead on.
What's this about? Everything is about to change. You will be drawn in a hundred different directions in the weeks and months to come. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, Gaspar is defeated, but it is said Briala yet plots her return from exile. The Empress now faces a war in the shadows. Elven daggers rule the night, and spies follow her every move. Sadly, Selene soon forgot her gratitude towards the Inquisition. Icy receptions now greet the Inquisition in the Imperial Court, where most prefer that Orle bow to no one, not even heroes. Thus, many believe that when the tide again turns, Selene will stand alone. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She does not fight them, and it is not long before the Chantry's fractures threaten to tear it apart forever. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the Circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.
I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. 